hi beauties welcome back to my channel so today's video is combination skin if you have not watched my oily skin video or dry skin video go and watch that video please because you have an idea what i'm trying to say when it comes to combination skin so what is combination skin combination skin is that skin that is not only oily but also dry so some part of your face will be oilier, some part will also be drier. And when it comes to where are the areas that are oily, your forehead down to the bridge of your nose and then your chin. In makeup terms, they call it T-zone because it has the shape of T, T-zone. So you will produce oil on your forehead down to the bridge of your nose and then on your chin. Then when it comes to drier part, your cheeks will be drier. So if you notice that you are producing oil, that you are shining on your forehead, on your nose and on your chin, and then the rest of your face is dry, then since you have combination skin. And another thing again to notice about combination skin is, then the area you produce um, oil will be shinier. You will have breakouts there. You will have um, large open pores on the areas that are oily. Then on the areas that are dry, which is the, our cheek areas, it's going to be dry. It's going to be patchy. For example, if you wear makeup, then around this place will be patchy. Then why here, when you put on your makeup, you notice that the makeup is sliding a little bit it is producing oil you are having a lot of shine on your forehead so these are the things you will notice if you have combination skin like i said combination skin for you to understand it very well please go and watch my oily um oily skin video watch the dry skin video then you will understand because i don't want to talk too much about it but on the areas that you are dry as a combination person you are going to have everything that the person that has dry skin will have on the area that you are producing oil whatever somebody that has oil skin is having you are going to have it on that area okay so like I said, when buying products, please, be it makeup, be it skincare, when buying all these things, please make sure that you are concentrating based on your skin type. Clinique, they have skincare products for combination skin. They have skincare products for dry skin. They have skincare products for oily skin. So choose your product based on what? Based on your skin types. So I hope by now that you've already know what type of skin types you are so that it will be easy for you in buying your skincare and buying your makeup. So sis, now that we have talked about combination skin, what it is and the things to check out to know if you have them. Um, if you have a combination skin now what are the solution to that like always you cannot erase combination skin from your skin but then there are ways to take care of them so that they will not be out of hand and the number one thing is to do what is to balance yes combination skin is all about balancing give them more where it is lacking and then neutralizing and reducing where you have more for example where you are producing oil you use a lighter moisturizer on the areas and then areas where you are drier you use a richer moisturizer you exfoliate regularly to open up your pores because our pores if they are they will be clogging and then um, causing all those um, black heads so we have to exfoliate to remove all those um, pores and another thing again is to use a bloating paper or a bloating powder if you are wearing makeup like mac i love their bloat powder 
areas where you are producing oil you use it to blot those oil or you can even use a bloating paper it works wonders too drink enough water use sunscreen on your face to protect your face always be consistent with your skincare and this also applies to all skin types you have to be consistent with your skincare morning and the night try to cleanse your face very well so beauties another thing you will do as somebody that has combination skin is to try to make sure that your skincare product has salicylic acid in them because what salicylic acid does, it helps to reduce oil buildup and our pores, it helps to open up our clogged pores, especially on the areas that we produce oil. So make sure that salicylic acid is in one of your skincare products. Another thing again is please don't over moisturize your face because the area that you are producing oil is much more than the area that are drier. Use a moisturizer that takes care of combination skin because i think what will happen at the end of the day is going to balance it will give more where it is less and then it will reduce and neutralizes where it is more make sure that you are cleansing your face two times in a day in the morning before you leave your house and then in the evening before you go to bed to remove all the germs to remove all the bacteria that we have gathered during the day hope this video is helpful and if it does kindly give my video a thumbs up comment like share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel and please when you subscribe on the bell button there so that whenever i upload a video you will be notified Stay blessed and stay safe. Bye.